Hello and welcome to my channel Playing with Junk. I'm making a short video today about these two things here. Maybe you remember my last video, the optical wavelength uh, multiplexer, and it had 10 cards with lasers and uh, receivers for optical fibers, and that's the laser. And that's the receiver and today I opened both of them. <coughs> it was not too easy because they have a, a steel case which is gold plated and the cover here is welded so uh, soldering or heating or trying to unsolder doesn't work. So I took my mill and I simply milled the cover away and I want to show you the insides of these two uh, devices. Uh, the types, this one is a Nalcatel 1915. You can find data sheets when you search for that. And this one is a little bit harder to find, but you find it when you're looking for Lucent 1319. Leave away the BA because the BA leads you into the wrong direction. It seems 1319 BA is some kind of aircraft part that pops up everywhere uh, when you Google that. So just look for Lucent 1319 or maybe 1305. There are different models. They are more or less or have all the same pin out. Oh well, let's have a closer look at that. Okay, let's start with the laser module here. We have the laser here underneath that block. We will see that a little bit closer uh, when I take the microscope. On the white block here is the monitor diode that measures the laser power on the other side. So the laser beam exits the laser crystal on both sides. One side is fed into the fiber here. The other beam goes into the monitoring diode. There is a coil, an inductivity. It has, a, when I remember right, 214 nanohenry. Uh, and there are also two wires here. It's a little bit dark on that side. These two wires here go down underneath this chip, this ceramic chip. There is a thermoelectric cooler underneath that cools down the entire unit. So I think the laser must be kept on a certain temperature to work correctly. Well, and much more isn't inside. The, this square thing here is a thermistor, a thermal uh, resistor that, measure, uh, that is used to measure the, the temperature of the entire unit and to regulate everything with together with the outside circuit. Okay, a little bit later we will watch that under the microscope. And here we have the receiver. There is the input where the fiber comes in. It is attached to the module with... Uh, normally you have about half a meter of fiber and then some sort of connector. Uh, that unit with the 36 paint uh, written on it, that's the, the pin di diode or an avalanche pin diode because of the high bias voltage it takes. Uh, we have a couple of uh, capacitors here. There is one chip, a pre-amplifier or an operational amplifier. 
we have a couple of uh, square chips here, probably resistors or something. We also have a couple of them here. They are not connected. Maybe they have the same circuit board for different uh, versions of this uh, unit. So they connect it if they need it or not if they don't need it. Okay, let's watch it under the microscope. Well then, that's the microscope view. You can see on the right side, about here, that's the lens where the fiber, which is here, that black silver thing, is coupled into the laser. I hope it is in focus. I can see it clearly on the camera. That's here. That's the laser crystal here on this uh, golden, well, it's not a PCB, it's a, a ceramic uh, substrate. There is a small inductivity, a coil. That's the thermistor resistor. Goes to pins 1 and 2. It has 10K according to the data sheet. So that's the two wires coming in, going to the bottom and the top, the bottom and the top of this thermistor, measure, measuring the temperature. Then pin 3, that's this one, goes to the track that is connected to that coil. And that coil goes to that track to the laser diode. So you can see the wire going from the track here to the laser diode. There are two wires. It's a high power thing. It has 20 milliwatts, extreme high power. Then pin 3 and 4, that's the pair here, goes to this monitoring diode, which sticks here on this ceramic uh, support here. You can see it there. I'm sorry if I go out of focus. So that's the monitoring diode, goes directly to pins four and five. Then the thick wires here, pin seven and six, going to the thermoelectric cooler, which is underneath here. Not sure, yeah. Here you can see it a little bit. There are the, the columns of this thermoelectric cooler. It's a little bit difficult to get focus because I'm filming with my video camera through the, uh, the microscope. Maybe we can see more on this side. Well, no. That's one of the connections of the tech. Ah, well, we can see. Oh, it seems it is a probably a two-stage cooler. Is that possible? I think I have to take one apart and see it. And that's the 200 nano Henry coil. And somewhere must be a, tw a 20 ohm resistor. Somewhere attached to the laser diode. Uh, maybe it's that coil here. Maybe that's the, the resistor here. Where is my pointer here? Maybe it's just another coil. And these blobs of solder here, I'm not sure what function they have. There is another one, big blob of solder. Maybe they use this to adjust the, the resistance of these tracks or 
I don't know, heat dissipation, I don't know. There must be a reason for that. Okay, let's see the receiver module. And that's the receiver module, that's the input of the fiber going directly to this pin diode here, which is then connected to the, let me take it that way, which is directly connected to that ceramic PCB. There are the three things, I don't know what they are, that are not connected. And here are maybe the same things that are connected. I don't know if it's diodes, resistors, whatsoever. It seems that capacitors are standard SMD types. So let's go through the pins. Uh, fiber optical, uh, I'm not sure which way is number one. Okay, the first one here, pin one, is connected to the case, that's ground. The next is pin two, which goes Oh, that's the, the bias pin for the high voltage that is needed for the pin diode or for the avalanche diode in this case. Yes, you can see it's going more or less directly to that pin here. You can also see there are two resistors here that are laser trimmed. So they are cutting into this resistive material to adjust uh, the resistor. So instead of a potentiometer, they do it like that. They measure certain parameters, voltages. They burn away step by step this resistive material and they get the precise adjustment they need. Um, pin three, five, seven, eight, nine, and 12 are all ground. Then we have, let me see, one, two, three, four, and five is, what is that? Five is ground, four is a negative power supply for the op amp, minus five volts. Uh, where is the op amp? There is the chip. Okay, number six is a thermistor. They are also measuring one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the last on this side. Yep, that must be the thermistor. Mr. Thermistor measuring the temperature of this, uh, of the entire unit. Uh, well, and it has three kilo ohms and well, that's about it. Oh, we have also uh, pins 10 and 11 that are the output pins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, 11, 10. That's the two here. Okay, maybe I have the wrong data sheet. Oh no, there are, there are the other two connections. Two pins here. Going via this capacitor to the chip. The other one seems to go directly to the chip. With some attachments around. Okay, let's see if we can zoom into the chip a little bit. Mm 
Okay, that's the amplifier chip. According to the schematic diagram, it's an operational amplifier up to two and a half gigabit per second. Well, and that's more or less everything about that. I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching.